suppose that we have a function with this kind of signature. We have a function that takes a number and returns an image. Well, what that means is that we could give it a whole bunch of different numbers and get different images out, like I have been doing. Here we have the image for 50, the image for 80, 100, 150, and so on. Just another one, just for fun. And these images are slightly different. So imagine that these images are actually the printed pages of a book. We could actually flip through the book very quickly and get what looks like a movie. This is uh, something that people used to do for fun. And it turns out that in the beginning student language, we could do the same thing. We have a function called diagonal dog, and we could build the animation from this function. Here's how we do it. First of all, we need to get the animation functionality from a different library. Remember that in order to get all these functions for overlaying images, we had to require the library to HTTP image. Well, there's another different library called to HTTP slash universe, which provides this functionality called animate that I'm about to use. Here's what we can do. I'm going to use this operation, so left paren, called animate. And animate needs a function. This is kind of a, a, a new thing for an operation. We actually need to give the function we just built to animate, and then right paren to stop. OK, this is going to give us an animation of successive pictures that are built by passing increasing numbers to the diagonal dog function.